Hey guys, what's up? It's I Can Fly Jake, and today I'm testing out a new sort of style of video. This is actually all recorded on my GoPro Hero 4 Silver Edition, and um, basically I, I'm not using a screen recorder only because I kind of want to demonstrate um, just just how it looks to be played um, with like in front of you. So this kind of just a cool first person style view. So first off, what you're going to need to do this is, um, I want to go ahead and get this out of the way just in case people clicked on this, and I don't want them to watch the whole video and then be like, crap, I didn't know you needed this stuff to actually do this, so, and that way people don't just hate on it and stuff like that. So, to do this, you do need, you do need a computer as well, but, um, it's basically something you can, if you have an iOS device, you can do it, um, already, and I'm assuming you guys have a computer somewhere in your house, but this way you can do this kind of stuff. You know, like in your living room, with your friend, I mean, just <clears throat> not sitting at the computer. Yeah, so you can play, or if your parents, like, you know, aren't letting you use your computer a lot, you could still have them maybe set this up. So, anyway, um, you gotta get this app called Splash Top. As you can see, it is right there, Splash Top. Um, make sure if you're, if you're buying it for an iPad, to buy it from the iPad, because the iPhone and iPod and iPad versions are all different. Um, I think it's $4.99, I want to say, um, which for what it does, it's actually pretty nice. So we're going to go ahead and launch it here, and it has a lot of function functionality besides just playing games. But So what will happen is you'll go on here, you'll make an account, you'll log in, um, and you also have to download it to your computer. And then um, basically on there, all you do is download it and then launch it. That's all you have to do. So I won't even show that. Just search Splash Top and then download it. Like, it's that simple. You just download, launch the app, and it automatically puts it out to your Wi-Fi. So, as you can see, my computer is showing up here. And if it doesn't at first, you can just hit the refresh button, and um, it it should show up. If it's not, if you're having errors, you know, contact their support. I didn't have any errors, and I've never heard of people having errors either. So, we're going to go ahead and click on it, and it'll do this. And it will actually... So, it changes... The, it sometimes has to change the resolution of your computer, but... Um, anyway, so you'll get this here. And it's showing you some hints, so like, if you tap on the screen, it's just like clicking. If you tap and hold, it's like a right click. If you tap with two fingers, it's supposed to put it in trackpad, but that apparently does not work. It's not working for me anyway. Drag down is like a scroll, um, just, you know, like that. And then you can switch display by sli sliding to the right, like that. So it's kind of like um, your Apple sliding to the right, you know, it's just kind of cool. Anyway, so, what we're going to do here is we're going to go into this, we're going to hit close. Um, as you can see, it's this is my desktop right here. So um, if I tap and drag, it's just like I'm highlighting. See that? Yeah, kind of cool. I'm gonna say so okay. So I'll demonstrate the tap and hold right here. So you see Chrome here. If I tap and hold on it and let go, it'll it's like I right click. So you right click and then you can hit close window or something like that. So then I'm just gonna I'll, I'll demonstrate this real quick. Let me just go to Spotify. So this is one app I'll show you. So I'm gonna go. Um, you can scroll on the side just like you're clicking and holding. And then I'll just play a song on the from this station. And actually, it cancels your desktop speakers, mutes them, and then plays it from your iPad. So yeah, that's pretty nice, actually. I, I really like how that works. Yeah, so, anyway. Okay, so that's Spotify. And then I'll show you a game in a minute. We're going to go to Chrome real quick, though. Launch Chrome. And you can one-touch launch applications, I'm pretty sure. But let's just demonstrate typing. So if I click on the search bar there, it will automatically bring up a type uh, keyboard that works decently well. Um, and then also there's an alternative keyboard. You can press on the bottom right here, in the bottom right of your screen. Press that. And then let's say you want to do functions like Control alt delete so you can launch um, Task Manager. If you press Control alt and delete like that it will automatically do as if you just close control alt deleted and there's your task manager sign out lock which is pretty nice you can do i mean this thing is not limited like it really is just streaming your computer to your screen so i know a lot of you here, you are here for the game so i'll go ahead and skip to that right now so um minecraft is the one i would say works the best although i know people have got battlefield and like call of duty working really well so anyway we're just going to launch minecraft really quick here <clears throat> And Minecraft's the only game I have set up with controls, but if you want to set more games up, you will have, you have to, um, there's a, an extra pack you can buy that puts a game pad on your screen, which I'll show you guys that in a minute. So, um, yeah, we're going to launch Minecraft here. And you have to, you know, do some setup with the controls and stuff, but, um, I'll show you guys how that works too. So it's launching Minecraft right now, and it's a little glitchy at first, so I gotta find the, um the full screen button and then it should there we go so and then right now full screen does not work in games but yeah so we're gonna go on single player here we're gonna launch 
we'll launch my survival mode right here. So click on that and then just play select the world. Now, here's what'll happen if you don't have a gamepad. Like if you just tap and click, it, it's really glitchy. There's no, it's not pocket edition, you know, it doesn't know to walk forward when you touch it. So what you have to do is double tap with three fingers and then you press this square button over here if you have the gamepad thing. And then you go to this and there you go. See, now I've got this gamepad on my screen. So I've got it set up for Minecraft and like this button here changes where I'm looking just like that and this button here walks me around you know pretty good it's a little laggy for a little bit but then it, it learns to um to, uh, to go more your speed so i'll just demonstrate some stuff so like i've got this button here set to do um a right click so i press that it'll right click in there i'll let's get the let's get the useless hoe out of there pick it up and then just tap down there bam in the inventory and we'll just exit out of that and then you want to make sure, you know, I've got an escape button here so I can go to the Minecraft options. Blah, blah, blah. We're, we're, we'll just go ahead and sleep real quick. Um, let me see here. Like I said, it's a little laggy. you got to give it, honestly, I think it's about two minutes, and then it sort of just picks up on its own. But we'll go to bed, um, as you can see. Pretty nice. I wouldn't recommend this on multiplayer since it is, you know, it's not as easy as playing on a keyboard and mouse. But it works, I'd say it works pretty well, honestly. And then so, like, I've got set, I've got this button here set to, like, my attack or swing. So I can, if I want to dig some dirt, let's just go here and then do that. Do that. Sorry, not holding the camera. Just like adjust that a bit. So yeah, I mean, it, it it's pretty nice, ne nice, nice, pretty nice. Why, why would I even say that? So yeah, it's pretty freaking cool. I enjoy it because, like, let's say I'm in upstairs and I want to be with the family or whatever. Um, I can just play some Minecraft from my iPad, um, full version. So you know, of course, there's Pocket Edition and stuff, and um, you know, that's all good, but if you want the full version of Minecraft, this is one alternative. And if you're really good at this kind of um, iOS, like, uh, control mapping stuff, you can actually, I mean, you can really make some um, good games work on this. I mean, it comes with preset features for FIFA and for Diablo and stuff like that that work very well. Oh, there's some lag. But, um, yeah, there we go. Okay. So, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, I think it's very nice. Works good. Like, this is my inventory button. Um, I can just click on different items, or I can use the scroll wheel on the side to select items, as you can see. Yeah, pretty, I think it's, I think it's good on, and I don't know. And then if I want to sprint, um, I have it set to this here, so if I'm rocking forward, I can just press that, and, um, it sprints. So, as you can see, this is actually the full version of Minecraft running on my iPad. Now, it is not actually, um being the processing and the graphics power is not being used by the iPad or use using the iPads it's actually using the um the my computers my computers uh oh my computers processing power and stuff all right so we're, we're going to try to fight the zombie oh balls i clicked see as you can see it's a little a little tough but you know it can be done i don't know i, I think it's cool Definitely fun. Um, good thing to mess around with. It's a bit pricey, um, but if you got the money, I think it's something worth messing around with. And I don't know. I really like it. So that's that. We're going to go ahead and just not do that. <laughs> Actually, out of it. But as you can see, you can just go right back into it, and it will automatically just put your computer back into the mode ready to run on your iPad. So we're just going to go ahead and exit out of Minecraft like that. And yeah, I think it's super nice. I, I enjoy it a lot. I mean, going through files is just so easy here. I mean, I, I love it so much. It's so good. Just so... It's And then, like, let's say something... You're like, man, it might be kind of hard to see items on your screen. If you put two fingers on there and zoom, or do this, you can, um... I think so, anyway. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Zoom. Hey, guys. What's up? It's Iconfly Jake, and I hope you guys enjoyed um, this little app review sort of thing. I guess it's an app review. I don't know. Um, sort of tutorial as well, because I think it's a very interesting um, idea, and it works very well for just using your computer. And I'd say good i wouldn't say very well for games but um good because it's kind of clunky and if your internet is very if you have crappy internet do not buy this let me just say that right now if you have crappy internet do not buy this because what will happen is it'll be slow like you'll click on the screen and then it won't register that you clicked for a couple seconds so that's that's that issue but um yeah anyway so um like i said splash top 2 on the app store and then just search splash top on the interwebs and you will find it so if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like and also subscribe for more videos and i hope to see all of you in my next video bye